Hello there everybody, welcome back. Uh, just a quick video of what's gone well and what's not gone well so far in the garden. So let's get going and I'll start showing you what's what. So the first plant up here is the rice and is communist. I started this one from a seed back in February, I'll end of February, and this was early, late May it was when I took this photograph. Here's the first lot of rice and is communist, which has not taken off at all. Been very slow growing so far. But on the other side of the garden, just look at the size of these. Really taking off. You're getting closer, you can see just starting to flower. And plenty of new growth in there, so hopefully this side's gonna shoot right up. Hopefully it's gonna get into a big plant this year with plenty of seeds forming. Another one I planted out in late May. Is the uh, Musa Basju. I overwintered these indoors last Christmas because they were so small, but I platted them out. I've given plenty of a uh, feed with chicken manure so far this year, and as you will see in just a second, look at the size of them now, shooting right up. I've had plenty of growth over them this year, just trimmed them up because we've had some really bad winds, so that's why there's only a few leaves on them. But Still early, we've got, what, we've got another six weeks, that's eight weeks of really good growth left in this uh, season. Hopefully it warms up again. So hopefully there'll be a lot more growth left. And hopefully I'll get a few pups out of them this year because there's plenty of sprouting at the bottom as well. Here we have the little plug plants I bought back in May. I think it was from uh, Tur Turnip Tropical. we uh, got the Enceti bananas and the uh, Colocasia pink china going on there. Really small. Here yeah, we've got the Palomia Tamantosa Empress Drake, which I bought really small, but hopefully over the next uh, couple of years, after we keep parlarding it, it will grow quite big. It grows big leaves, this one. And here we are now, uh, late July. First up there's the Brugmantia seeds, which I did in another video, which grew from seed. That's what they're at at the present. Then we've got the plug but and setes. They put on quite a bit of growth this year. Might actually plant them out soon, along with the uh, pink china. Really filling out now, so gonna get these in the ground soon enough. And then coming up now is the Dwarf Cavendish. So originally just one, now four, which you can see. And then I just pick this one up here, it's the Colonia. Put on quite a bit of growth. Not too bad that one. I was expecting a bit more, but... Here yeah, now is another ricinus, and this one's the ricinus pink, or the red. And I've also uh, done the blue giant as well, planted them. Haven't really took off yet so far, but as you can see now, there's the, the pink one. Put a little bit of growth on, as you can see, it started to flower. So hopefully again, get some seeds out of it. It's a bit more in the shade at this end, so we'll see. On there now, uh, this is the uh, Canamusa folia, which is from another video that you've seen. It was very late getting going, but it's been absolutely eaten alive. Same as the uh, Canacleopatra. Look at the leaves. Been Demolished, something's enjoying it. Next year, I'm going to look at some treatment on these, see if we can grow them a little bit better. Here's my uh, dahlias, 
which were growing well. It's really nice flowering, but what I failed to do was stake them up correctly. And I had a little accident with them, so uh, now I've staked them up and put a little bit of string around them for a bit of support. So hopefully, again over the next month, they'll be able to fill out and get some nice blooms on them. Now here's one of the easiest things you can ever grow is the coleus. Originally I had the one plant which I just overwintered. Just kept taking the side shoots off and putting them a little bit of water just to propagate. Sure I'll do that in another video. And here's some of them now. Barely filling out. Love the uh, colours on the leaves, the variation. The stuff's look vibrant and striking in the garden. Gives you that tropical vibe can't go wrong quite expensive to buy if you buy them this big but you just keep easily uh, propagating them get loads for your money then so works out a very cheap plant here's another one on my failures this year it's supposed to be the miscanthius giganteus grass which is supposed to grow really tall but um, really small but there's uh, some sound of life going on as you can see there's a, there's a couple shooting up now, I don't think they're going to get very big this year, but persevere with it, see how, see how it goes, leave it in there again for next year, see what happens. Well, as you can see, not everything grows well, all the time. This thing's been really hit this year, God knows what's happened to this, but... I was expecting it to uh, do a lot more. This is the Vonica uh, Dropmore Scarlet. Last year it flowed really well. This year it's only got, it did earlier on in spring, the first pop. It's only got a couple of flowers on it now, but see what happens. Hopefully it'll bounce back again. Here's the Hosta Empress Wu that was, I'm going to do that now, back in July, early July, a couple of weeks back. You know the uh, surprise that I showed you. These things are really uh, shooting up now. I thought, I thought they were dead, but the resilience, they've uh, growing back a while, growing nicely. They bought these because apparently these things get really big. And then another success. What can you say about this? It's the uh, Japanese. Bloodgrass, originally only bought two of these plants, but really easy just to propagate, put a spray through it, replant them. They just, just keep growing away. Right, I'll uh, wrap it up there. Uh, stop me rambling on, hopefully, you've enjoyed this different type of video. Uh, so, till next time, thanks for watching.